I used to believe that once a person had chronic kidney issues, then that was it. They were pretty much stuck for life. I thought there was not much that could be done, except tweak it as best as possible and hope to goodness that it didn't get worse. Most sufferers hear the same advice. I really believed it, too, but I don't anymore. Because of something my doctor showed me, I now know there's an awful lot that can be done to manage serious kidney afflictions. And what can be done turned out to be literally life-changing. CKD isn't a life sentence. I was diagnosed with CKD, an ongoing, apparently untreatable disease of the kidneys, just over two years ago. My doctor explained that there is a number of reasons why people get such kidney problems, but it was always caused by something else that was already going wrong in the body. Diabetes, heart disease, various cardiovascular diseases, being very overweight, and so on. They can all cause our kidneys to struggle and eventually fail. High blood pressure was the cause of my ongoing kidney illness. Another person's kidney disorder may well have a different cause, but the result is the same. My doctor told me that illnesses like this can't be tackled directly. Instead, doctors address the diseases that cause it in the first place, which for me meant tackling my blood pressure problem. It might be a different fight for you depending on what's causing your own kidney problems. But whatever the cause, the strategy is the same. Alleviate the problems of the kidney ailment itself while addressing the underlying disease that is causing it in the first place. Unfortunately, using standard methods, most forms of ongoing kidney illness can, and often do, get progressively worse. As it gets worse, it becomes a significantly more threatening disease. There was no way I could just accept that. No way! Fortunately, I didn't have to accept it. I did something else instead. Which has meant that these days I can't remember what my kidney affliction even feels like anymore. But before I jump ahead of myself, let me make this important point. Ongoing kidney illness, the five stages. My doctor taught me something very worrying about CKD. The disease has five stages. Stage one is the mildest. Stage five is as serious as it gets. Stage five could shorten a person's life by many, many years. Nobody wants to reach stage five. A slippery slope to stage five. My illness was at stage three when it was discovered. Most of us only discover we're ill when it's already well underway. The danger here is that ailing kidneys get progressively worse. Doctors find it very difficult to halt its progress into stages four and then five. At stage five, a person is plugged into a dialysis machine. They hope and pray for a suitable kidney donor so they can squeeze some more years out of life before finally succumbing. Well, no thanks. Dialysis machines and kidney transplants were not for me. I didn't care that other people coped with being strapped to a dialysis machine for hours on end, four or five times a week. That's them. It's not me. And I didn't care that, for people lucky enough to find kidney donors, better transplant techniques meant that they weren't dying so quickly afterwards. As far as I was concerned, once a person reaches the kidney dialysis machines and transplant stage, their days are numbered. Again, no thanks. I had, and still have, many years of life ahead of me. And I wanted those years to be healthy, happy, enjoyable, not ill, diseased, watching my clock run down. This wasn't the life I wanted. I felt very low, to be honest. My doctor gave me the standard spiel. We can handle the symptoms. We can try to address underlying causes. With the right meds, I could lead a fairly normal life, and so on. I told him this wasn't good enough. I didn't want my life cut short with a disease that, at least officially, had no way of being reversed. I didn't want to watch myself deteriorate week by week. I didn't want to be plugged into a dialysis machine. I didn't want a transplant. And I didn't want to die early. I was very upset. I didn't know what to do next. But I didn't want to just do nothing. There is an alternative, and it's proven. I've known my doctor since college. He's a trusted friend. He told me to come back at the end of the day, and we could go for a coffee and a chat. He had something important to tell me. Well, what my doctor told me that afternoon was jaw-dropping. He described how he'd witnessed five of his own patients treat their ongoing, gradually worsening kidney issues to the point that they now experience none of its symptoms. Here's the thing. They had first treated the underlying cause, the condition that gave rise to their allegedly untreatable kidney condition in the first place. 
that had led to the melting away of both that condition's symptoms and their kidney illness symptoms, which was staggering. We're talking about diabetes, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, obesity here. He wouldn't claim they no longer had the disease. Professionally, he's not allowed to say that yet. Tests are still taking place. Official verification is required. That takes years to complete. But when one of his own patients attempted an alternative health approach to his serious kidney problems, and by all measures succeeded, my doctor couldn't ignore that. The effects weren't temporary. They lasted. My doctor explained that conventional medicine was still testing these new remedies, but ordinary people had jumped straight in and had been applying them for some years. No drugs, no hospitals, and the results were fantastic. I was excited and nervous when I heard this, but everything we discussed that day I went on to prove to myself. CKD, the inside story. But before I jump ahead of myself, let me reveal what else my doctor told me. We've always known that ongoing kidney illnesses are caused by other conditions, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart conditions, too much excess weight, and so on. So, it makes sense to tackle those conditions first. Doctors tackle those conditions either by significantly reducing their effect on our bodies or by successfully reversing them completely. This much has been well understood for a long time. We also know another vital element of the story, that the conditions I listed above diabetes, high blood pressure, and so on, are often the result of low-level, ongoing inflammation in the body. Those conditions are either made worse by this ongoing inflammation, or more often, are directly caused by it. Finally, we're well aware that the inflammation itself is mostly caused by a faulty immune system. In other words, our immune system is being triggered way too often, which leads to ongoing inflammation which in turn overwhelms our bodies and creates damage throughout. The Pathway to Disease So, a faulty immune system leads to widespread inflammation, which leads to one or more of the diseases mentioned, which leads to the full range of kidney disorders. This is the pathway to disease. But what causes the faulty, malfunctioning immune system in the first place? What's that initial trigger that sets off the whole thing? That has always been a mystery, yet if doctors could find out how to stop the immune system from malfunctioning, then the inflammation, the underlying disease, and the chronic problems with the kidneys all goes away. And now we know. In the last few years, scientists finally found out. The immune system malfunction that causes ongoing, seemingly untreatable kidney problems comes from problems in the gut. Yes, the gut. We now realize that, incredibly, most of the Western world's major killer diseases begin in our guts. This one insight has changed forever how scientists now tackle disease. And this isn't theory, by the way. It's not guesswork. It's heavily researched scientific knowledge. The details are straightforward. When we're talking about the gut, we're not talking about bloating or stomach ache or anything like that. We're talking about the fascinating environment within the intestinal tract. That environment, also called the microbiome, contains trillions of fantastically useful bacteria. We're used to thinking of bacteria as being harmful, but over 90% of the bacteria in a healthy gut perform functions that keep us alive. They do things for us that our body itself simply cannot do. When healthy gut bacteria dominate our guts, and unhealthy gut bacteria are kept to a minimum, we are at our healthiest and happiest. When this balance is disturbed, we get ill. If it's disturbed for long enough, we get very ill. Here are just a few functions gut bacteria carry out for us. They directly affect our moods and emotions. They manage our growth from childhood to adulthood to old age. They strongly regulate our weight. Food cravings come from bad gut bacteria, not greed. They eliminate toxins that our body cannot handle, preventing an overwhelming of blood poisons and they extract essential life-preserving vitamins from food that our body simply cannot access and which we can't survive without. Good bacteria literally keeps us alive, so we need it to be in the best shape possible. Why? What does poor gut health mean? If the number of good bacteria are reducing, then bad bacteria gain an upper hand in the gut. Given enough time, the damage they cause to the body can be bad, then severe, then fatal. Conditions that are directly linked to poor gut health include 
diabetes, liver disease, cardiovascular disease, some cancers, gout, high blood pressure, celiac disease, heart disease, kidney disease, arthritis, thyroiditis, psoriasis, and irritable bowel disease. Recognize anything on this list? If you have even one of these and your gut health either has a major hand in it or, in most cases, your gut health is the actual cause of it. Remember the pathway to disease we mentioned a moment ago? We understand that pathway now. Poor gut health leads to immune system malfunction, which leads to low-level inflammation, which leads to one or more of the above diseases, which then leads to ongoing and worsening kidney problems. By the way, for type 1 diabetes, T1D, sufferers who have been told that their diabetes is for life because its cause is unknown, that story is currently being rewritten. Consider this from a 2018 white paper. Recent evidence shows that altered gut bacterial composition is highly associated with the pathogenesis of insulin dysfunction and T1D, and thus, targeting gut microbiota might serve as a therapeutic potential for T1D patients. Pathogenesis simply means the development of the disease. The scientists here are suggesting that the therapy for type 1 diabetes is to target the state of the sufferer's gut health. Or this from a 2019 white paper. Among the included studies, 24 articles confirmed the association between gut microbiota dysbiosis and T1D. Gut microbiota dysbiosis refers to imbalances in the environment of the gut. Here, the researchers have confirmed that the state of the gut is associated with type 1 diabetes. Dozens of heavyweight scientific research papers are reaching the same incredible conclusion. Researchers aren't allowed yet to claim that repairing gut health successfully eliminates T1D, even though the evidence points convincingly in that direction. But gut health is heavily implicated in T1D in the same way that gut health is now known to often be the only cause of all the other conditions I just mentioned. It's this insight that is now leading us into startling, yet very simple, remedies for Western society's most deadly diseases. The chance to turn it all around. Get those gut bacteria healthy, and everything that was going wrong, including serious kidney illness, starts going right again. But what causes our guts to become unhealthy? There's no doubt at all about the causes. It's our lifestyle choices. Lifestyle simply refers to the usual suspects, stress, sleep, fitness, and diet, which at first sight all seems pretty bland and dull. We've heard this all before, but now it's very different because now scientists understand the direct link between what we do and how we get disease. Poor lifestyle habits slowly ruin our gut health. They decimate good bacteria, allowing bad bacteria to thrive and expand their deadly effects. Our gut environment becomes less helpful to us and steadily more deadly, which makes it inevitable that, in time, we will end up either very ill or fatally ill. The damage that bad habits do to our gut bacteria is almost the entire reason we are tired, ill, overweight, suffer low moods, and struggle as we get older. We say it's age that causes disease. That's absolute nonsense. It's the slow and steady neglect of our gut health that causes disease. We do it to ourselves. We don't mean to, but it's what we do. Poor lifestyle habits are the primary reason. For millions of us, they're the only reason we contract Western society's worst diseases. Heart, blood, liver, kidney. Our basic lifestyle habits directly and dramatically determine whether we'll be ill at all. And if we will be ill, those habits determine which illnesses we'll get and how they will play out over the long term. The good news is, take heart though, this knowledge is literally life-saving. We've now discovered at the deepest level why we get ill, which means we can get well again. Simple, specific changes to some daily habits are now ridding people of a whole array of horrible conditions. There is a right way of doing this, of course. It's not simply a matter of eating healthily, whatever that means, or getting more exercise, which not all sufferers are able to do. When someone is so ill that their kidneys are starting to fail, then correcting specific lifestyle habits can change their life. Done properly, it can save their life. Beware, though, that the standard advice we see in magazines or on popular websites isn't right for people with diagnosed kidney issues. 
We have a specific condition, and that requires new and very specific action. It's easier than most people believe, but it has to be right. More powerful than medicine. Correcting these lifestyle factors properly can be literally transforming, more powerful than medications, and even more life-improving than surgery. But diet, what we eat and what we drink, is the kingpin of disease. It's the supreme dictator of how we're going to suffer as we grow older or even if we're going to suffer at all. You can eat your way back to healthy gut bacteria, and therefore, full, vibrant health. There are many, many foods that we can eat unlimited amounts of, including happily a number of foods that fad diets tell us not to touch. Everything we need to eat can be bought at a local supermarket. Half of it is possibly already in your kitchen. Essentially, though, we must eat enough of the right things in the right quantities, do that and everything else falls beautifully into place. Back to the future. I thought sleep and stress and fitness and diet were just things that other people paid attention to. I was sensible enough to not eat like a pig, and I didn't think I was suffering stress any more than the average person was. All life has some stress, doesn't it? But really, I didn't give my food or anything else about my lifestyle habits much attention. In truth, I didn't really know how to. I enjoyed life worked hard, but behind the scenes things were steadily going wrong with my health. Today, I thank my lucky stars that I found out how to undo what was going wrong. My health today is like it was 25 years ago. It's like I've not aged a single minute, because now we know how to heal ourselves. Today, we know accurately what we can do to make all the nasty stuff go away. If we address our health problems today in ways shown to actually work, then we can reverse the diseases that plague us. And as we do this, the symptoms of ongoing so-called untreatable kidney illness melt away to nothing. That's an opportunity we've not had before, because only now have scientists finally worked out the full path, all the steps from good health to disease. Remember the path, gut health, malfunctioning immune system, widespread inflammation, disease, ongoing kidney breakdown. And understanding that, we have a simple way of going backwards, of reversing from CKD back to health. Cutting to the chase, what do I do next? So my doctor is explaining all this over coffee. Well, three coffees, to be accurate. It was a heck of a lot to take in. It all led to one obvious question, though. How do I go about applying all this to myself? How does an ordinary person like me make use of all this powerful stuff? My doctor told me he knew of a health practitioner who had turned these new insights into a series of steps for sufferers to follow. The program showed them a way out of their suffering, all described in plain English. He had already recommended the program to other kidney patients, and those who followed it enjoyed life-changing results. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that I could do, something that I knew others had successfully completed, something that had successfully addressed their diseased kidneys. The Chronic Kidney Solution The program that does it is called the Chronic Kidney Solution. It was created by Shelley Manning, a natural health practitioner who already had stunning results in other areas of health. The patient who had first told my doctor about this program had himself suffered diabetes. If he could successfully address that and his chronic illness, then I wanted to be doing what he had done. I ordered it as soon as I got home, and it arrived in my inbox a few minutes later. I started reading it there and then, and that was the moment my life changed forever. Am I still ill? Today I don't know if I still have a chronic kidney illness or not. Even though he had seen it before, my doctor was delighted by my transformation. A transformation I was able to feel and he was able to measure. Today I eat very well, sleep soundly, and am super relaxed. I'm slim, happy, healthy, and on top of the world. I no longer experience any kidney disorder symptoms, not one. My blood pressure has been normal for over a year now. I still have routine tests to ensure all is okay. It always is. Whether I'm officially still a CKD sufferer or not, I doubt I've been this healthy since my 20s. So how does it work? Shelley Manning's The Chronic Kidney Solution is a straightforward plan for the complete relief of ongoing health-threatening kidney condition symptoms. All I had to do was follow Shelley's instructions. My body naturally took care of the rest. It was easy work, and some of the payoffs came quickly. 
I felt different after just four days. Some of her instructions were so ordinary that I couldn't see how they would have much effect, but they did. And given that I've swapped high blood pressure, diseased kidneys, tiredness, fatigue, and low mood for vibrant health and a very big smile, I can safely say that doing what she advised was one of my smarter life decisions. Three Phases From Disease to Health Let me be bluntly honest with you here. Going from healthy to ill didn't happen in an instant. Years of unhelpful lifestyle habits led gradually to my pretty serious kidney issues. We get ill step by step. We address illness in the same way, step by step. So Shelley's program works us back to health through three very specific phases. Phase 1. Protect from Kidney Damage First, we stop damaging our kidneys any further and give them the space they need to heal. It takes some simple alterations to our daily habits to achieve this. We begin addressing gut health, too. Those good bacteria respond quickly, and as they recover, so does our health. I felt positive effects of this within days, a little less tired, a little more focused, more cheerful. Phase 1 also directly addresses insulin resistance, focusing on balancing blood glucose levels. No, this isn't a portion control or calorie control diet. Shelley encourages more eating, not less. It's knowing what to eat that makes such a profound difference. Phase 2. Restore Kidney Function We continue to address insulin resistance to establish stable blood sugars for life. Gut health has significantly improved. I was feeling noticeably more energetic, focused, and upbeat. And despite eating as much food as I liked, I was 12 pounds lighter. Having released the stresses they were under, my damaged kidneys were now slowly regaining their original functioning. I was sleeping better than I had in years, even though I've never had a real sleep problem. Phase 3. Repair and Renew Kidney Tissue At stage 3, blood sugars are naturally stabilized, and they stay that way. My blood pressure was now comfortably back in the healthy range, which was both a delight and a relief. Using specific foods and natural supplements, I generated new stem cells to repair kidney and heart tissue. The supplements were cheap, and I got them from my local supermarket. I only had to use them for a short period, but the benefit was enormous. I was literally creating a new healthy body. So much about my health was completely turned around. Serious and potentially life-ending kidney symptoms were completely gone. Life-threatening blood pressure was normalized. From disease to outstanding health in three phases. Shelley's program is natural, simple, and easy to follow. No doctor visits, no drugs, no complications, no bills, no expenses. And it works. Which is why thousands of people are now taking the decision to transform their lives like this and bring to an end their disease once and for all. Staying healthy. Forever? Okay, I'm teasing a little bit. When I eat plenty yet remain slim, mentally and emotionally, I'm on top of the world. I've not just finally addressed never-ending ongoing kidney problems and the associated conditions that caused it. I've also extended my lifespan. I will live longer. And I'll enjoy those extra years in good health, without the endless illnesses, medications, and hospital visits that we're conditioned to expect as we age. The health effects of doing the right things has a profound effect on every aspect of my well-being, even at the smallest details. I don't even catch colds anymore. It's like I swapped a tired-out body for a brand new one. It's not the miracle people might believe it is. These aren't miracle outcomes. Shelley isn't claiming to be some sort of health genius who discovered something that nobody else noticed. These life-enhancing changes come from researched verified, documented science from the U.S., Europe, and across the world. Outstanding health is simply the inevitable result of making the exact choices that the body needs you to make. We're so used to getting ill, we forget that our body isn't meant to be diseased. It's meant to be healthy. Illness is caused, and it's our lifestyle behaviors that cause it. By undoing lifestyle damage, we're simply restoring ourselves to the good health that our body always tries to reach anyway. We're returning ourselves to normal. Shelley's lifestyle plan shows us exactly how to do that. So long, kidney ailments! Three years ago, I decided not to suffer the deeply unpleasant effects of ongoing, ever-worsening kidney illness a moment longer. I didn't want to end up strapped to a kidney dialysis machine, and I didn't want to have a transplant. 
Today, I am completely free of all kidney illness symptoms. My blood pressure is now consistently spot on. My weight is down. My sugars are stable. My energy is high. My mindset is optimistic and relaxed. I've never felt like this before. It feels like a miracle, but it isn't. This is nature at work. This is cause and effect. Like millions of Americans, I'd unknowingly made myself unwell. Now I have knowingly made myself super well. Anyone can do this. It's uncomplicated, straightforward. Shelley's solution is for anyone who simply wants their health back. Because you can have it back, just like thousands of us already have. Click the link below to get Shelly Manning's The Chronic Kidney Solution right now and join us in outstanding lifelong health. Her program works, but for cautious types, she has a full 60-day money-back guarantee. No questions. Thousands of us are now fully healthy and happy. The logical decision for life-threatening ongoing kidney conditions. Remember, our body strives to be healthy. It does its best. Lifestyle mistakes, the kind that millions of us make, work against it. Undo those lifestyle mistakes, and our body starts working its way back to its preferred natural state, which is vibrant health. Do exactly the right things the right way, and it's impossible to avoid being healthy, energetic, and happy. Shelley Manning shows exactly what those right things are. Protect, restore, renew, not just the kidneys, but the entire body. Thousands of us did it. You can too. Start today. Click the link below to receive the program. Doing nothing is not an option. It's a rule of life. What we address gets better. What we ignore gets worse. This is especially true with the serious and potentially life-threatening case of ongoing kidney illness. Imagine being attached to a kidney machine three or four hours a day for four or five days a week. No more holidays. No independence and a life expectancy reduced by 10, 20, or even 30 years. Would a kidney transplant make everything right again? No, is the short answer, because transplants are temporary. They preserve life for some years, but once a person has a replacement kidney, the clock starts counting down. Who on earth wants all that? Not me, not you. Don't put yourself through all this. Act now and make everything right again. Click the link below to get the Chronic Kidney Solution now.